Hey, welcome to Vivian Digital Marketing or from Vivian Digital Training and our channel. Today, I want to teach you some HTML about images. You know, we have a website, sometimes you want to put an image there, you want to put your images, you want to put your Facebook page, what you're doing, or who you are, and all that. Image is very good for your site to make your site look good. So, today, I want to teach you how you can use image on HTML. So without wasting much, uh, much time, without much ado, let's go straight and start with image. Image, as you say, should be on the main, so let's go to the main page. That's where you see image, okay? Let's go to the main page. For you to write an image, what you do is you type IMG. IMG, that is the short word for image, okay? As usual, hold down your letter, your letter key. After pressing your shift plus letter, you write IMG. Then image link your SRT. Remember, we are talking about uh, 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 link. You make your HREN. But in image, you use SRT. So SRT is the source. Where is the source of your image? Where is your image coming from? Sometimes you can take image from somebody's website. You can take image from other people's site or other network and all that. You can also take your own image. Sometimes you can take image from your own site or your own YouTube. For example, if you go to Google now, let me take image from my own site. I go to Google. Here in Google, if you go to Google, type even, just type even, type even, my website is Google.com, just type even. Here in even, if you click on all, I want to understand it. Now go to images. This is even, even is a marketer, even is. Now come to images. Click on images in Google. We show you so many images. You can choose any of the image you like. Which one would like it? Which one would like it? Would like it? Would like it? Okay, let me choose the this one is on yeah, this on my private. This on my private. Let me choose this. Just simply right click and what do you need to do? Copy image. Okay. When you right click, you copy image link. Copy link address. Copy link address. And you come over to your site. Come over to your site. Can I use my image? You don't have any image. Just go to Google, type event, type event, go to images, choose any image you like. Then come over to your site and put it there. There, is, let's so under this as usual. There is a post. The post to your, your normal thing. Paste it there. Okay. So be for paste. As soon as this image is paste, as usual, save it. Control S for save. Control S for save. Then let's right click and go to our live server. Yes. Scroll down to images and you see the image that we just copied. 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 Image is IMG as address. IMG. Under the session. This image I just copy now. And this is SEO tutorial image. As you to write image, as I this image from my source page, I want you to copy the one directly from Google. So, as you let me work to see the image. And after copying your image, you're going to go alter it. See, this 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 URL is too long. That's why it's giving us time. It's too long. All right, we use short one to for you. Okay, alter it. This is what I'm talking about. Alternate is what you are starting. What is the image you are writing? What is the image all about? So alternate left side, private image, or just type image or anything. The alternate is because sometimes you're looking for image, sometimes the image cannot display. If the image fails to display, then the alternate will display. And that is the beauty of it. And again, for those who are some people might not see, those who are blind, who are disabled, when they see the alternate, they may likely look at the alternate and know the image, what the image is all about. Okay? So they will there to know what the image is all about. If they didn't see your image from the alternate, they can actually see it. So you need to watch the alternate keep up with what's supposed to be there. Okay, so for example, this image did not appear, but this fiber image is there. So once it fits up there, you see it once and then, oh, it's an image of fiber, but it's not appear there. You get it? So you get that. So that alternate is always good when you're writing an image. You just go and copy another image. Maybe this one will appear this one as well. But you're able to see the blue fine and see the shape as far as I can see. So as usual, type your image. <coughs> image is IMG, IMG for image. Click on it. 
let's go back to that site and do some type on your uh let's choose this continent of towns these are all my sites so let me choose this image let me choose this image copy link address copy link address or better still you can actually go straight to the site and copy the url that you so it's not the same any way you want to do it you have to do if i can copy it fine you want to copy this url fine anyway you copy the link address come over to image and paste it there okay country b for paste there's this one here country b then let's go to alternate Alternatively, let's say my home page, home page or Steven image. Let's write Steven image. Steven image. Steven image. Okay. So I told you what alternate is all about. In case your image will appear, alternate is what will change the face of your image. So I'm going to put face to understand what is there. So that is the essence of what alternate. Are you getting it? So it's all if your image if your image don't appear, what should they see? What is the alternate? Then they will not know that okay, this is what's supposed to be there. This image we are talking about they didn't appear, but this is the image. So let's come over and take a walk and see that the one we just copied has appeared. So first of all, you save your work, click on save, controls for save, save your work, then come over here and take what you did. If I did, if I did, there's a HTML, the live server, see the image, if this image appears. Yeah, you see, come on. See them image. So they are not appearing, but it's supposed to appear. Then that way you can also do image, you can do image directly from your page, from your home page, like this image, I have some images here. This C is an image, Co is an image, JPEG is an image. So to do that one, the same process. There is no magic, no same process, just exactly what you did before, it's what you are still doing to repeat. So let's go down, let me do another one that what do another one. System around. Let's get image direct directly from our let's get image directly. Image at IMG. IMG. Click on it. Then alternate where you are getting it from. Yeah, I want to copy, let's copy C O P E dot C N G. Let's copy C E E dot C E E dot C N G. Okay. C E dot C N G. C E dot C N G. Then the alternate image you can get. Just make sure you write the name of the image. So in case for those who have not seen, or if your image is not there for any reason, from there they will know it. So let me say. Home page image or Steven image. Steven image. Okay. Steven image. Steven image. Choose your work. You save your work. Save your work using Ctrl F. And let's go and see the image that's appear. Let me do both so you can see the image that's appear. Let's do it both. Yeah, this one has appeared. I don't know what's wrong with other before, you just did the color before. This is it. You see, it appears. It appears here. You see, but as me, did it appear? Your tiny image will appear. So, as you can see, that means that as you go to the image, those steps that we did before that they appear, your tiny image will appear for you to know that it appears. So, you can actually copy also before, just do it with your list from directly. You can also do your image from directly. And so, let's take another one. This one now, alternate image, you said to see them image as usual. Just put even image, alternate image, even image. But like I said, you can put in any image you put in, make sure that the alternate the alt must be that same picture. For those who are blind, those who cannot see the table one side, they can know what the image is all about. And as usual, your control for save. Now let's run this and see how it goes. Let's run it, let's run it, let's run it, let's go there and see how it goes. Open your live server. Okay, so it has open. You see it completely. This is the image. But you notice something? The image is done to be. This image is too big. Will you leave it like this or can you do something? Of course, you can do this. Though this is CSS, but I want to show you how you can like that way CSS works. Or like I since I'm going to also teach you on CSS, 
let us do a little bit of CSS. Let me put a little bit of CSS right now. So I can know how you can insert this image so I can fit it to your uh, program. How do you do it? You have an option. Right here in the image, Melata IMG, you put a space. You can actually resize the width and the height together. You resize the width and the height. Sometimes it's a strength. Okay, let me just show you some people. Let's resize it to 300. Let's say width, which should be 300. It should be 300. And uh, let's make the height. Let the height <clears throat> type what I'm typing so you can learn from me. Let the height be the same 300. Let's make them 300, 300, 300. Let's go back to our image and see. Do you notice something about the image? Of course, it has reduced, right? It has reduced. You can see the image has reduced, but it shrinks. So to avoid this shrinking, why did it shrink? The reason why the image has to shrink. Let me explain to you so you understand this very well, okay? Why, if you check, let's remove this height and width that we put. Let's move the height and width and leave it the way, the way it is for now. <clears throat> did you notice that the width actually is longer than the height? And if you are shrinking them for the same 300, if you shrink, the picture will not be that small. So the best option is either you choose the width while the height is control instead, or you choose the height, the width automatically control adjust the same. That's the beauty of HTML language. Okay. So in this case, you can try to choose one and allow the other one to control the same. So which one do you want us to choose? Well, and let me be the boss. Let me decide this time around. Okay. But you can decide anyone you like and choose. Let me decide to reduce the height. Okay. If I reduce the height, then the width adjusts the same. Let me make the height to be like, uh, let's say 200. I made the height 200, the width is just the same. And trash. Let's now go back there. You see it? The picture is still remain. You still have the bit of the picture. You can see increases to like, you can see increase the height to like, that same 300. 300. The width automatically adjusts the same. Okay? Ctrl S. Width, Ctrl S. The width will adjust itself. Okay? You see it? It has adjusted. So, this is all about image. I'll show you how you can adjust an image either directly from your own image using your own directory or from another directory using the same method that we do for links. Now, for links, there's another thing I want to teach you about this. Then, let me just put this the last one. From this image, can actually got a link to another image. For example, let's go up and do one of the links. And so the way we are talking about for uh, this link, will I show you? There's only link image. Okay, let's say this CO. Let's talk about it. Let's say this. So let's bring this CO. So how do you do it in a way that you wrap an image in another image? So that as you are working, somebody can come over and say, okay. And click on that image and you take it to your website or take it to your about page or take it to your home page. How do you do that? Just a minute, let me show you how you can do that right away. Okay. Uh, image, image, image. Okay, if I cannot see where I put image, let me just go around for you because we don't have. Okay, hey, this and right, this is the image. Now, on this image, I want to put a link on this image. So, as usual, our link is here. You remember? Yes, click on here. Page wrap, then cut. We are going to cut this last part, but let's just do it before we cut. Which one do you want us to put? Let's put web.dhg or let's use about us in cvn.png. Let's use about us in cvn.png. About us in cvn. Cvn dot php. PNG, sorry, what was the of PNG? Then cut here, cut this because we want to, to wrap the image I've already gotten. So that everything we have here is right there. Bring this there and then fit. Remember, you can, add, you can write, I don't write that, I cut. But if I want to write it, I will just write this href, href equals to a battle's image of PNG, close it, open a new tag. And bring it down here. You get it? So that's where I, if I want to be that way.
So I want to do that with that. I will just want this one. <clears throat> always make things easy for us. Because we make things easy for us, we utilize it and do our work. So let's go and check what I just told you. Let's see if, if it will work and definitely it's going to work. Let's draw it and we make it bigger so I see it. Now, this is the image. This is the image. Scroll down to the image. The one that I'm just bringing now. You see it, it has turned to a hand. But I take this image and it takes me to a part of the end. You see it, it brings us here. So these are, you can use image to navigate and image. Maybe it's a product. That's what product. So if you click on one particular product, know the price, and then you put another product. So are you learning something? Please continue learning. Let's get you in the next class. Like I told you, I will come to giving a live session. Any if you're lost, you are confused, you're not clear, ask a question. If you have, if you have more ways or better ways of doing it, bring it out here. Let all of us learn. I believe in teaching each other. We teach ourselves and we learn better. And also believe in things. You maybe you don't like what I'm teaching you. Let me know. I also I, I use a ram mixer. But in any case, let us learn. Once again, thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. And always click that button. So each time I bronze that video like this, I bring that video like this, you can see it, view it, and share it to our mother that class. YouTube algorithm can see this and it because many people learn from this. Okay. Thank you so much. See you in my next class.